Welcome to this video on Literature Standard 3. We will discuss the development of complex characters. We will be covering the core standards in literature, analyze how complex characters develop over the course of a text, interact with other characters, and advance the plot or develop the theme. We will be covering the following, analyzing complex characters. You are already an expert reader. In your many years as a student, you have read hundreds of books, stories, and articles. You have become expert in reading literature, and this experience will help you develop your skills further. The skills you learn in this session should help you improve your reading skills. A character is a person depicted in a story. For example, Jack from Jack and the Beanstalk is a character in that story. The giant is also a character. There are many different types of characters. Jack is a major character as he is the most important person in the story because the story is about him whereas his cow that he trades for the magic beans is a minor character. A complex character is a character that has more than one aspect of their personality. This type of character is often portrayed as a conflicted and contradictory person. They are usually realistic and multifaceted. Different motivations come into play in different situations. They usually change or grow as a result of the story's actions. Sometimes they will learn something about themselves, other people, or the world as they struggle to resolve their conflicts. The changes that this type of character undergo contributes to the meaning of the story. Ebenezer Scrooge from Charles Dickens' A Christmas Carol is a complex character. He is mean and crusty in the beginning of the story. By the end of the story, he has changed considerably and has become more understanding and compassionate. He also has many sides to him. In his schoolboy years, he was abandoned by his father at a boarding school, even during Christmas, planting the first seed of his hatred for the holiday. He was an eager go-getter when he worked for Mr. Fezziwig, who he eventually bought out of business. He became obsessed with work which compels his fiancée, Belle, to leave him, further hardening his heart. He undergoes many changes throughout the course of the story. A character's motivation is that which propels them, their personality. It is why the character acts the way they do. It is an answer to the question, why? It is what keeps them going. For example, in the book Alice's Adventures in Wonderland by Lewis Carroll, Alice travels through Wonderland and meets the people she meets and has the adventure she has because she is looking for a garden. Why does she continue through Wonderland? Because she wants nothing more than to get to the garden that she saw through the little door after she fell down the rabbit hole. Finding the garden is her motivation. There are different types of motivation that a character can have. The character can have a goal, he could want glory, be greedy, looking for knowledge, redemption, vengeance, or he could just be a wanderer. He could be a psychopath, trying to shrug responsibility, be a teacher, or a mentor, or a thrill seeker. A character can also have multiple motivations as well. Grendel from the epic Beowulf is motivated to kill for sport, survival, and revenge for being outcast. A character can also have conflicting motivations. The character could, for example, have to choose between stealing to feed his family and watching them starve. The development of a complex character can come from its motivations. Let's take as an example of the character that had to choose between stealing to feed his family and watching them starve. If, in the course of the story, he got caught by the police, he could develop into a hardened criminal in prison. After prison, he may become further involved in criminal activities. On the other hand, he may be so torn about having to steal, he may not go through with it. He may decide on another course of action that saves his family without him needing to become a criminal. These are examples of how a complex character could develop. Characters rarely exist on their own. Even a story with a premise of loneliness usually has some form of relationship even if it's only animal com companionship, such as a dog. One of the most interesting insights of character relationships is how a character acts differently around other characters. For example, a character that is very confident and successful may turn into a blithering idiot around a member of the opposite sex. The supporting characters in a story usually have an effect on the main characters. They are the ones who can cause the conflict and cause change. In the example of the potential criminal, he could have interacted with the cellmate who convinced him to continue his life of crime, or he could have interacted with the policeman who convinced him otherwise. 
A plot is the main story idea. It is the pattern of events that makes up the story. The decisions of a complex character will generally advance the plot. The conflict he faces makes new plot progress that will lead to a resolution. The theme is the moral of the story. It is what the story is trying to tell you, the point that it is trying to make. A complex character also affects the theme with its conflicts and decisions. A poor decision, like one to steal or kill, will maybe make for a cautionary theme. A good choice, such as helping another or being honest, will generate a happier or more upbeat theme. An author uses complex characters to contribute to the plot or theme. Complex characters are used in almost all stories from simple children's stories to War and Peace by Dostoevsky. Complex characters are used to bring the life to the story, to make a story interesting and lively. Severus Snape from the Harry Potter series is a very complex character. We are not sure if he is good or bad, or which side he is on. At one time, it's pretty certain that he is on the side of evil, but in a surprise turn, he's really good. Over the series, he makes many twists and turns, and the reader is never really certain until the very end of the series. His conflict was, in part, with Voldemort stealing the woman he loved, even though she was married to someone else. He was willing to put his life on the line and lose, to avenge her death as a resolution to the problem. Let's do an activity to further enhance your skills. Read the following stories. Pause the video if necessary. List the characters in each story, then answer these questions. Which characters are complex? What is their conflict? What is their motivation? Read the following story. Pause the video if necessary. List the characters, then answer these questions. Which characters are complex? What is their conflict? What is their motivation? How can you recognize a complex character? A complex character has a conflict and a multifaceted personality. They usually change or grow as a result of the story's actions. They may learn something about themselves, other people, or the world as they struggle to resolve their conflicts. What is a character's motivation? A character's motivation is why the character acts the way they do. It is an answer to the question why. It is what keeps them going. How does a complex character affect the plot? The complex character gives dimensions to the story. Their conflicts and decisions are what makes the story interesting. As a student, you are expected to know how a complex character can develop over a text. Recognize how a complex character interacts with other characters. See how a complex character can advance the plot or develop the theme. We've come to the end of our session. We have discussed complex characters and how they develop, what motivates a complex character, and how complex characters interact with other characters. By the end of this ses session, you should know or be able to do the following. Recognize a complex character. Find how a complex character develops. How a complex character advances the plot or develops the theme. This information should help improve your reading comprehension skills. Good luck with your reading!